I first heard of the Resilience Project when we got notification the NRL would like to come and present to our players and staff here in Townsville. Definitely straight away I was intrigued. Some of the messaging really rung home with me. The Resilience Project was founded in 2013 and since then we've been lucky enough to present to over 300,000 Australians. Our aim is to provide positive mental health strategies to help people become happier and more resilient. It has been a big part of my life. Anytime I've faced a bit of adversity, I definitely revert back to a lot of the stuff that Hugh talks about. The Resilience Project is based around three core principles, gratitude, empathy, and mindfulness. What blew me away was the simplicity of it. And we thought, if we got the Cowboys brand behind promoting well-being and awareness, it could have a huge impact on our community here. So in 2018, we were lucky enough to be invited back to Townsville by the Cowboys and the Townsville Suicide Prevention Network to work with schools in the region. And we started now with six schools and we'll be engaging a couple of thousand kids together with teachers and families. This program is about children, it's about adults and it's about our wider community. First up, we work with the teachers as we know they are crucial in helping to drive this really important message. Our staff came over from 4 to 5.30, which is outside of normal hours. And, you know, he was trying to wind it up at 20 to 6 and they just wanted him to keep talking. Next, we connect with the students through emotionally engaging presentations. Humour and storytelling are a great way to help them understand what they can do to become happier and more resilient. The kids loved it. They sat there and they were enthralled. And to have 800 children from five years of age to eight years of age being engaged for an hour is pretty amazing. Today in the talk I learned about how you should be grateful for what you have. And people say that a lot, but I really, I took it for granted. The success of our presentations are based on our ability to make an emotional connection. That's why presentations are either tailored to primary or secondary students. It was mind-blowing really, it was fantastic. I mean, there were a thousand young boys and girls sitting in there and they were all really, really listening. I think it develops you as a person as well. If you start practicing this and they can make you happier as a person and then you can also pass it on to other people to make their lives better as well. I'm really going to tell my mum and dad about things that I'm grateful for. Well, parents are a really important partner in this. We couldn't agree more. And that's why we're committed to providing parents with tools and resources so they can best support and model these behaviours to their kids. That's the great thing about this project, you can engage your whole community because you want parents to understand that and to practice it. Because it puts it all into a framework. We'll have the resources to do something that's been research based, it's looked at the science behind it, the psychology behind it. The presentations are only the beginning. We provide comprehensive year level specific curriculum. This ensures that teachers are well supported to deliver the best outcomes for their students. We've, I guess, established a space in our curriculum to be able to do work on this. The teachers will be able to run the program so that we actually help our kids do better. We want to support everyone involved in the program. That's why we have additional resources with our wellbeing journals and the Resilience Project app. What would be the ambition, our dream, well, why can't North Queensland be the most resilient place in the country? To other principals that haven't stepped onto the program yet, we have to teach kids how to read, write and do maths. We have to teach kids how to behave. In this day and age, we have to teach kids how to be resilient. And we now have a formula. Uh, the program in, in Townsville was far beyond anything we could have possibly ever imagined. To work with a community who, who were that committed to improving their mental health and wellbeing, uh, was really inspirational for us um, and we cannot wait uh, to continue our work across far north Queensland.